Hey guys, welcome to another Star Wars vehicle review. Today we're going to take a look at a very controversial ship from the 2013 uh, Star Wars wave. I'm talking about another than Jango Fett's Slave One. You have a look at the, the packaging. Slave One uh, flying over Genosian space. On the back, we see some more uh, pics of the ship and what you can do. And a small, dis uh, well, a description. It says it works with Sokka Legends and Mission Series action figures on the bottom. Uh, which is kind of true, but it's kind of not true. So here's the ship itself. And if you compare this one to the 1996 Kenner Boba Fett Slave 1, uh, it looks really tiny. And if you compare this to the actual uh, Vintage Collection Slave 1, which is, has Boba Fett's colors again, it looks even tinier because that ship is massive. So uh, I said it was controversial at the beginning of the video because some people hate it. Uh, most people, I think. Some people love it. Me, I'm kind of in between. I personally got this ship because it didn't have a, a Jango Fett uh, ship. I couldn't get neither the uh, Clone Wars nor the Attack of the Clones ship. So I, I saw this one at Target on clearance for $13.98. And I needed a Jango ship, so I decided to, to buy it. But like I said, it looks really small. Uh, here's the the cockpit, not very well detailed, but it, it has some amount of detail. The uh, the wings can be moved. You you can move them by hand, like so. The missile can be fired if you press this little button on the back. You can fire the missile. Like so. There we go. You can insert it back. The cannons uh, are, you can rotate them by hand, but they're really flimsy. Uh, if you open the cockpit, you'll see some amount of detail uh, in here. I hope you can see it. I'm not going to remove Django Fett because it's a pain in the neck to get him in and out, but it has some, uh, the cockpit has some stickers. Basically, what I'm trying to say is uh, not as as, as detailed and as big as the uh, Attack of the Clones or, uh, ship or the Clone Wars. But if you don't have a Django ship, like I didn't, uh, you might as well buy this one. If you have one or you're a casual collector, then I, I recommend you pass on this one. Uh, here we have a look at the back. It's Fairly detailed, not very uh, colored, but well, what can you do? So here's a a look at the Slave One. Uh, I got nothing else to say. It's it's if if you're gonna buy it or not, it's entirely up to you. As you can see, I bought it and I'm I'm okay with it. I finally have a, a ship for Django to fly in. So thanks for watching this review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, take care. I'm in the force with us all. Later.